Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to talk about pH. What does pH mean? You've probably seen it all over your textbook, you're probably working with it, but what does it truly mean? Well, the, the original definition of pH came from the, the sentence or the phrase, the power of the hydrogen ion. So the more hydrogen ions you have, the greater the power of the hydrogen ion. So it was a measure of the power of the hydrogen ion. Although it's kind of a little bit in reverse because the smaller the number, the more powerful the hydrogen ions become. So it's kind of a, a reverse measure. The smaller the pH, the stronger the acid, so, so to speak. Also, the word power actually comes from the German word for power, which is potence. And so it turns out this was the potence of H. Turns out if you had to get a PhD in chemistry back in the old days, they pretty well wanted you to learn German as a second language because there's so much research and science being done in Germany regarding chemistry that it was almost mandatory for you to be able to study a lot of the writings that were done in German. And so you can see here is an example where the concept of the pH came from the German word potence. Anyway, so what does it really mean? What is the potence? What is the power of H? Well, pH is defined as the negative of the log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Remember, the concentration is the number of moles of hydrogen ions per liter of solution. So here is an example. If the, the concentration is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter, that would be, of course, the concentration of hydrogen in pure water, 25 degrees centigrade. That is the neutrality of the solution. So it would be neither a base or acid. And so if you throw that into the, into the equation, the pH is equal to the negative of the log of this number. When you take the log of 10 to the minus 7, you get back the exponent, and the negative here turns the negative into a positive. That means that if the concentration of the hydrogen ion is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter, the pH is 7. And if you see that, if you see the pH is 7, then you know that the solution is neutral. It's neither an acid nor a base. It's right at the hairy edge between an acid and a base. If it becomes a little bit smaller, if the hydrogen ion concentration goes up a little bit, it becomes an acid. If the hydrogen ion concentration becomes a little bit less, it becomes a base. Now let's say that the concentration went from 1 times 10 to the minus 7 to 1 times 10 to the minus 6. That's an increase by a factor of 10. There's now 10 times as many hydrogen ions in the solution. So what does that do to the pH? Well, if we calculate the pH, it's minus the log of 1 times 10 to the minus 6. Remember, the log of this gives you the exponent. Multiply times the negative, you get a positive 6. So that means the pH of 6 means there's 10 times as many hydrogen ions in that solution than when the pH is 7. Now, what if you have 100 times as much ions, hydrogen ions in the solution? Well, then the pH, same calculation, now becomes 5. So a pH of 5 means you now have 100 times as many hydrogens in the hydrogen ions in the solution as when the pH is 7. So now, of course, if the pH is 2, if you then go ask yourself the question, how many hydrogen ions are there? What is the concentration? So you kind of get, get the idea is, okay, you take the difference in pH in number, so the difference between 7 and 2 is 5, then you say, well, it has 10 to the 5th times as many hydrogen ions as when it is pH 7. And so that's kind of how you compare that to the neutral state. So pH 2 means 100,000 times as many hydrogen ions as pH 7. And so that's how we then find that the concentration would be 1 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per liter. Now, if you want to reverse that in a more mathematical sense, you can take this very same equation and solve this equation for the concentration of the hydrogen ion, which we did over here. So therefore, we take a negative sign, move to the other side, so minus the pH equals the log of that. Then we take what we call the antilog. We take both sides of the equation and raise it to the exponent 10. So on the left side, we get 10 to the minus pH. On the right side, we get 10 raised to the log of the, of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. And of course, 10, time, 10 raised to the log of something, this cancels out, and we simply end up with the concentration of the hydrogen ion. If we then turn the equation around, so we put the thing we're looking for on the left side of the equation. The concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 10 times the minus pH of the solution. So for example, if the pH is 2.5, then the concentration of the hydrogen ion is 10 to the minus 2.5. Pretty straightforward. So anytime you now see the pH and you want to know the concentration of the hydrogen ion in the solution, all you do is raise that to the uh, negative exponent of the number 10, and you know the concentration of the hydrogen ion in that solution. And that's the meaning, the definition of the pH of a solution.